Okay, um, I thought I would show you this batch of records I have here. It's, there were quite a few that I'm going to be purging. I'm going to be selling. Um, you know, I said in several videos ago I was going to do this, and uh, I went through my collection, uh, not all my collection, but a lot of it, and I found a stack that for reasons uh, here and there, I decided I didn't need any more. Let, let's... Uh, Begin with this, which is uh, still sealed. <laughs> record store day. Uh, this is shocking blue. I mean, I like the idea that it was a 10 inch record. It's not a 12 inch, see, it's a 10 inch record. Um, it's on colored vinyl. I love the song Venus. That's it. That's all I need. And uh, this was so cool because it was a unique item 10 inch record, colored vinyl. And uh, I got caught up in the record store day hype for one song. And uh, it's not going to happen. I'm getting rid of it. All right, I spent quite a bit on this Kinks uh, uh, Village Green Preservation Society, and uh, you know it's in really good shape, but uh, you know it's not cheap. All right, next up, Bad Finger, No Dice. You know, I have a CD of Bad Finger. That's all I need. You know, there's like about three or four Bad Finger songs I really like. And I have a hit CD with all the songs I want on it. You know, it's cool to have these things, but that's where it ends. Now, more Kinks, Arthur. A lot of people love this. This is in very good shape, too. And I haven't heard these records yet, by the way. But when it comes to the Kinks, you have to understand. Uh, you know, I, I'm happy with a nice two-CD career-spanning disc. Here's Elton John. Whoops. Some of these, look at that, look how easy that just pulled it. It tore very easily the sleeve. Anyway, yeah, Forever Changes. I was in crazy mode. I just bought this, you know, considered a great album, I know. Uh, I'm keeping the first Love album, but that's all I need. The first one really dazzled me. I don't need any more. There's no need for this. Sports, Huey Lewis, and the news. Forget that. I mean, I like, like again, three or four Huey Lewis songs. The greatest hit CD will do me. Uh, Romeo Void. I only bought this because of that song. I might like you better if we slept together, but we can get that anywhere. This is one of the unusual times where I bought a record because I just heard it at the record store. Uh, somebody was playing it, John Renborn. And it was really cool sounding music to me, kind of medieval sounding. And I said, what is this? And I'd like to have it. But, you know, it's been sitting here for a couple of years and that's it. <laughs> Looking Glass, they only have one song, Brandy, You're a Fine Girl. There's no reason to have the whole stinking album. <laughs> Berlin, same thing here, Riding on the Metro. I like that song. Do I need the whole album? Hell no. Billy Idol. White Wedding, really cool white vinyl single, but I could do without that. Or you know what, now that I'm seeing it, I, I, I might keep this one, because certain songs from 1983 remind me of good old times, club hopping, and there you go. I got this album twice, okay, one time it was a dollar, and then I improved it a little bit more, Rascal's Greatest Hits. I like the Rascal's, there's quite a few songs I like, but I thought to myself, you know what, uh, I'm just going to stick with a Greatest Hit CD. This is another one, Howard Jones, 12-inch single. Men at Work, you know, again, they've got about four songs I like, five songs. I'll find the Greatest Hit CD. I'm going to be going to CDs for a lot of things. Andy Gibb and The Shrink. I like that song, I Just Want to Be Your Everything, you know. Uh, it was a nice copy, cheap, in The Shrink, so I got it. You know, this thing about... Wanting albums just because they're in shrink. That's got to stop. <laughs> uh, Rod Stewart, Never a Dull Moment. Madonna, this is, I think, a German press of this. I ha Actually, I'm keeping this album, the American album, but this is the German press. I got it because it had a cool hype sticker. Well, that's the end of that. Uh, Beach Boys in Concert. When it comes to Beach Boys, I pretty much decided, uh, I think I'm going to just go for hits CD from them. Loving Spoonful, this has four photos in it. That's why I bought it. It had the hits, but it also had four color photos. Okay, here's Georgie Girl. Seekers, we just lost this woman. 
Um, I love the song Georgie Girl, and that's it. You know what? 45 RPM will do me. Get the Knack. Eh. This was a, a cool band in 1979, but I don't need the album. And uh, a couple of Chipmunk records. One there. Another one here. You know. I don't know why I bought this. I love this song more, uh, more today than yesterday. I have that song on one of those CD compilations. Have a nice day, the 70s. I mean, what the hell, you know? Uh, Boston. More than a feeling. Peace of mind. Yeah, they're good songs. I hear them on the radio all the time. I forget it. Don't need the album. Just the way it is. Uh, Scandal. Love Patty Smythe. The Warrior is a great song. There's a song here, too. I think it's The Beat of a Heart is pretty good, too. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm thinking twice about this as I have this in my hand. I might hold on to this. Spanky and our gang, greatest hits, please spare me. I don't even like uh, Lazy Day or Sunday Will Never Be the Same. You know, if I have an inkling to hear those, I'll, I'll find a CD or something. Wilson Pickett, love Wilson Pickett. Uh, you know, this one really... The whole thing is, you see, on an album like this, I'm just going to get the CD. That's what it comes down to. Fleetwood Mac, I've never heard this album before, but when Christine McVie has vocals on them, I like her vocals. So I was going to play it, but never got to it. I wasted money on this because I love this song, Judy in Disguise, by John Fred and his Playboy band. Uh, this is a psychedelic purple vinyl. I bought this on Record Store Day. I got carried away with the Record Store Day hype for the, you know. So I bought it, but the thing is, I have this record already uh, several times on the original, you know, different covers. I don't need the colored vinyl one. At least I didn't, you know, I didn't think so. Okay, Sheila E., I like the song Love Bizarre. That's my favorite song from her. Uh, but again, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, well... I really like that song, but you know what? I'll have to live without it. Oh, poor me. Uh, Tommy James, I think we're alone now. There are a lot of Tommy James songs I like enough to get a CD hits. Uh, the Best of the Crests, 16 Candles, etc., etc. Not not too much, etc., but uh, I didn't need this for a couple of songs. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to one of these. I got two of them. One of them was a dollar. Two different labels. Edgar Winter Group. It got Free Ride and Frankenstein on it. I may hold on to this now that I'm looking at it. Because I want the long version of Frankenstein, you know. So I held on to that. Uh, pretenders Get Close. I'll stick to a Pretenders Hits comp. Animals on tour. I mean, some of these things I just bought. I mean, if you look, this video is only a, not even a month ago. And uh, no, I'm going to stick with the Animals uh, Greatest Hits CD. I, I'm actually keeping the vinyl album, the greatest hits of the Animals, you know, but I don't want everything. Yeah, I just got these recently, too. Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. Uh, Elton John, Rock of the Westies. Elton John, Caribou. Captain Fantastic. But what I decided I was going to do was, again, I've said this many times, I love Elton John. He's a big part of my youth. But the thing is, I'm happy with the Greatest Hits 1, Greatest Hits 2, up to Greatest Hits 3 even. But I don't need, for me, every album, uh, Jackie DeShannon. What the world needs now is love. <laughs> Must have been a day when I felt like I didn't purchase anything and I had to have something, so I picked this up. I don't need this for the one song, really. This is an interesting item. I almost don't want to see this go. Shelly Fabre is doing her big hit Johnny Angel. And it's cool to have a record of these things, you know? But you gotta, you know, gotta let it go. Now, don't get, don't freak out, everybody. I have Dusty in Memphis here in the shrink. But actually, I have two copies of this, so I'm keeping the other one. Okay, so I don't need doubles is really what it comes down to for this album. All right, Dusty in Memphis. All right, I'm going to put it here, though, because it might be in better condition than the one that I uh, am saving. All right, this here, I love the hype sticker. Our lips are sealed, the Go-Go's. It was 15 bucks for this thing. Anyway, uh, but there's a handful of Go-Go songs I like. Guess what? I already have a Greatest Hits CD, which has all of them on it. You know, it's, you, know you want something like this because you remember in the day, this was out in like 81 or 2, and you remember... 
this is part of your youth. And, you know, there are some albums I will have and keep just because they remind me of the good old days. And I'm basically keeping it as a museum piece. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm still going to do that. I've got a lot of albums that I haven't shown you in the other room that uh, I'm saving just for that reason. Okay, this is a better copy of The Rascals' Greatest Hits, which will be a CD. Uh, Groovin', The Young Rascals, yeah, yeah, it's cool. You know, it's like, it's cool to have this. Wow, I got it in the shrink with the hype stick. It's cool to have it. But, you know, I'm going to stick with the CD. Flock of Seagulls, I like, like, two songs by them. I, I almost kept this because, you know, I have fond memories of the Flock of Seagulls from that 83 period. But, uh, maybe not. Honey Drippers, See You Love. I like their version of Sea of Love. I don't know that I need this. And here's a Frank Sinatra record in great shape, you know. Um, I'd probably be selling a, selling a lot of my Sinatra. That's it, folks. Phase one. There will be more to come. Thanks for watching.